When you focus on the breath, think of it as a soft focus. You don't want to put too much pressure on it. It's not the needle on a record player that bears down in the groove. It's more a diffuse light. You want to be able to watch the breath, but not to put too much pressure on the breath. You want your awareness to be a healing awareness, good for the breath, good for the body. Of course, if there's not enough pressure, the Buddha's image is holding a baby quail in your hand. You let it go, hold it loosely, and it flies away. If you hold it too tightly, it'll die. So you have to find the right amount of pressure so that the mind stays with the breath and doesn't interfere with the breathing, but it sticks with it. That kind of awareness is good for the breath, and then through the breath it's good for the body. You can think of that easy breath and that soft but still focus going through the whole body, nourishing all the organs. You start from the head, go down the back, out the legs, and then in the front of the body, from the chest down into the intestines, the abdomen, the arms, all the parts of the body. Think of the breath flowing freely throughout the body. And when the breath flows freely, then the blood can flow well as well, nourishing all the different organs. The mind gets calmed down. This kind of awareness is healing both for the body and for the mind. For most of us, though, our awareness is too sharp. You focus on something, you drill into it, and then you drop it, and then you drill into something else, and then you drop it. And with thinking things outside, that doesn't really make much of a difference. But when you're thinking about your own body, you have to think in a different way, focus in a different way, in a way that doesn't interfere with the healthy functioning of the body. In fact, it actually promotes it. This way, when you're still with the body, it's going to be good for the body. When the mind is darting around, you're using a lot of energy, and a lot of the parts of the body get ignored. The energy gets shut off to the different parts of the body, so you can focus on one thing here or one thing there. And if you do that a lot, it's bound to be bad for the body. So you've got to give the mind a chance to settle down and be still, so this awareness becomes a healing awareness, something good for the body, good for the mind. And have that sense of a safe spot inside, where your awareness can rest. And allow things to flow freely. And come back to that as often as you can. Because you radiate a good energy not only in your own body, but also to the people around you. So remember, you're not just taking in things from outside, you're also broadcasting energy. So try to get things calm and still and alert inside with a soft focus throughout the body. And that kind of energy broadcasts well.